Hope in Heaven What would a perfect world look like? What would be different from what you see around you? Imagine if everyone had plenty of food to eat, if nobody got sick, if there were no fights or wars, if everybody loved and cared for each other. It is difficult for us to imagine such a good place because we've never seen anything like it. There are many terrible things in the world now because people sin. There is greed, hatred, selfishness, revenge, and war. We know that those who trust and follow Jesus will be forgiven of their sin. They will also be able to be with God forever in heaven. Heaven is a perfect place with no sin and no suffering. And best of all, it is where God is. Jesus gave us pictures and ideas to help us imagine what heaven will be like. You can read them in John chapter 14 verses 1 to 6, Revelation chapter 7 verses 9 to 17, and 21 verses 3 to 4. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust in me also. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If these were not true, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and do that, I will come back and I will take you to be with me. Then you will also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Bible tells us that the world we live in will not last forever. At the end of the Bible, a book called Revelation tells us what will happen next. This book is about a vision given by God to a man named John who wrote about what he saw. After this, I looked and there in front of me was a huge crowd of people. They stood in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb. There were so many that no one could count them. They came from every nation, tribe, people, and language. They were wearing white robes. In their hands, they were holding palm branches. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne. Salvation also belongs to the Lamb of God. Jesus is sometimes called Lamb or Lamb of God in parts of the Bible. So when you read the Lamb, remember that means Jesus, God's Son. John went on to describe what it will be like in heaven for those who follow Jesus. Never again will they be hungry. Never again will they be thirsty. The sun will not beat down on them. The heat of the desert will not harm them. The Lamb, who is at the center of the area around the throne, will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, Now God takes His home with people. He will live with them. They will be His people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. 
There will be no more death or sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. Things are no longer the way they used to be. We've talked about how people who believe in and follow Jesus go to live in heaven forever when they die. It is something to hope for beyond the world we live in right now. It will be a perfect place that never ends. There will be no more sin, no suffering, no more tears, no more pain, no more death. But those who do not trust and follow Jesus will be in hell. They will be separated from God and from everything good. The good things we experience on earth, like love and friendship, will be even better in heaven. We will see other followers of Jesus from all over the world. What a great place to look forward to! Because we know that this journey of trusting and following Jesus takes us to heaven. It will change how we live our lives today. Remember, Jesus lives and rules in heaven. Heaven is the perfect place to live. Jesus has prepared for us to be with Him in heaven. Revelation 21 verse 4 He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the things you have given me, for my family and friends, and keeping me safe and healthy. Thank you for saving me, giving me eternal life, and repairing a mansion for me in heaven to be with you forever. Amen. Ephesians chapter 21 verse 4 He will wipe tears from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away.